Welcome to this question and answer session for the Postgraduate Certificate in Quantitative Methods and Data Analysis for Healthcare. I'm Dr. Sonam Banker Cullen, and I will be hosting the session. I have Professor Catherine Komiski here today with me, who developed the course and is the overall coordinator. So welcome, Catherine. To start off, would you like to provide a brief overview of the course? Thank you. Oh, thank you, Sonam. Um, I'm delighted to be here and to share this with our potential applicants. Before I give an overview, I would just like to give a little bit of background uh, history to the course. Um, I've worked in healthcare, quantitative healthcare, for many years. And during that time, um, I know that people are working with data. I've seen the data in their work place and the importance of data is even getting more so with artificial intelligence and health technology. So having that easy familiarity with data is so important. So that prompted myself and yourself to develop this course. So it is three modules. Uh, they can be taken online. The first two are fully online. And we start with a nice gentle introduction about data and you know different types of data. And we move very slowly and gently through the first module, introducing people to data and different uh, descriptive statistics and different basic statistics. Statistics that they might be using in their work or they might be reading in reports and journals and to give you uh, an understanding. Then the second module is also fully online and that's about um, really focusing maybe more like a wider public health uh, numbers, things like prevalence and incidence and uh, relative risk. And these are words we hear about every day. I mean, especially with COVID, we've all heard these words, but just getting a, a better understanding um, and looking at maybe sample sizes and whether a sample size is sufficient and so forth. So it's slightly different emphasis in the second module. And throughout those th two modules, we'll be there in the background, able to answer any queries. Um, you know, we can be very reactive. Uh, we can have as much interaction as people want, but the course can be taken fully online. And then finally, the third module is very practical because we're very practical people and we like to produce meaningful and practical results. So the third module, is over the course of one week and it looks at actually doing a mini project, looking at some data, data that interests you or data from your work, or we can provide some data on a topic that interests you and just doing a practical report and having that, I suppose, as part of your own CV or portfolio to show what you've learned and how you're capable of taking something from start to finish, asking a question, looking at the data and producing a practical and useful answer. That's the that's the history and the, the plan. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. So can you tell us a little bit more about who should apply for this course? I think anybody who wants to uh, improve their knowledge and skills, you don't have to be working with data or you don't have to have a statistics background, not at all. It's uh, people who want to be able to maybe read reports, uh, have a better understanding, or people who might want to progress their career with another qualification uh, to add to what all they've already achieved. So it's very much open to all healthcare professions, sociologists, psychologists, uh, uh, you know, anybody who really who's interested in data. They don't have to be particularly interested in healthcare. A lot of our examples are in healthcare, but we're equally as happy to work with other data sets as well. Brilliant. And can international students apply to this course? Yes, absolutely. Um, the three modules can be taken fully online. I mean, ideally, we'd love people to come and work with us for the third module because we will be in the lab and we'll be doing hands on. And it's just so enriching, you know, if there is if there are people there to share ideas. What problem did you have? Oh, I did it this way. And for the class to benefit from learning from one another. So ideally, we would like to have people visit and come and explore beautiful Trinity College. We see it there behind you, uh, Sonam, in your in your picture. Uh, but they don't have to. So yes, international students can take this fully online. 
Can you tell us a bit about uh, the academics who will be teaching on this program? Yes, so we have a range of people teaching on the programme. There's yourself and all of your background in psychology and healthcare, um, children's research. Uh, myself, who has a background in epidemiology and uh, originally actually uh, quantitative methods and uh, maths and statistics, philosophy. Uh, we have uh, Malukan Bassa from Ethiopia, who's very interested in non-communicable diseases, but also brings that wonderful global context uh, to where things are different and we have to think differently and outside the box. Um, we also have Dr. Katie Tobin, who is currently in the School of Medicine, and she has done a lot of work um, on um, uh, uh, women's issues, uh, women and children's issues. So she brings that flavour. Um, we may also have uh, Dr. Dave McDonough, who actually is a mature uh, academic who spent all his life working in industry and then joined academia and did his PhD. So we have a wonderful mix of uh, people and cultures, uh, which brings all of that diversity and extra, I don't know, an extra to the course. And I'm really excited about that. That's great. Thank you, Catherine. Finally, I'd just like to ask you, can you tell our listeners how will this course benefit their career? Oh, I think it will benefit hugely their career and them personally. I mean, as we've just been reading so much about, you know, health technology, technology in the workplace. And with all of that sort of um, innovation and technology comes more data. So to be able just even to contribute to that and to be part of that workforce moving forward who has the skills, we're going to be looking for people who can work with data, who understand data uh, as we move forward, I think, with technology. I think that's a huge part. But also in the real world, in the you know areas where maybe we're working with people, Data can be used to create an argument, to uh, give you the evidence. I mean, if you're working in sociology or you're working in maybe childcare, you know, to have the data and to be able to use the data perhaps to look for more resources. Um, so I think, you know, our non-governmental organisations, um, I think just it certainly... Anybody who has a familiarity is comfortable with the basics and is willing to, um, you know, work with data. I think this will be great for your career. Great. Thank you, Catherine. So that brings us to the end of our session. I'd like to remind you all that the closing date for the programme is the 31st of July 2024. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us. You can learn more about the programme. Uh, by going to our www.tcd.ie forward slash courses uh, webpage for any information. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sanam. And also just to welcome uh, Malukan, who has just joined us. Malukan, you might just like to say hello to everybody and tell them that you'll also be teaching on the course. Hello, everybody. My name is Malukan Basa. I am uh, one of the teachers in the course. Thank you. Great. Great. And um, I just mentioned your name. I was just talking about how wonderful we are uh, to have you. It's brilliant to bring that diversity and different contexts, uh, global context as well. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, Sanam. Thank you, Malukan. And we look forward to you applying. And please watch the dates uh, and just simply apply. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>